what's up youtube welcome back to the studio and happy new year i hope you guys enjoyed your holidays i hope you guys enjoyed new year's christmas kwanzaa hanukkah whatever you celebrate hope you guys celebrated with your love some loved ones your friends and families all that kind of jazz now that we're into the new year that means new content that means a lot of stuff is going to happen for the channel all that kind of jazz now one of the things i wanted to talk about is an up and coming anime that's going to be coming out next year called kaiju number eight the manga series has been going strong since 2020 and i just recently learned about this manga series and have fell in love with it really 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 quick so the way i'm gonna do this type of series is gonna go down like this right now as we speak they are on chapter 77 as we speak and every week they drop a new chapter except for their third week on their fourth or third week they do a thing called the kaiju showcase which is pretty much just showing off artwork it's like a hiatus like a break for you know the author and the people that are working on this manga to take a break so we get three chapters back to back then we get a break the anime series doesn't come out until next year now what is the series about you say well it is actually something that i can't say that a lot of people i have seen make comments saying that it kind of reminds of attack on titan and it kind of does to a certain extent like at the beginning you'll see a lot of attack on titan like you will see that they pulled inspiration from it but then as chapters go on and the story you know starts to develop more and more and the world starts to get bigger and you know and gets well developed you'll see that it's nowhere near attack on titan or it's a like attack on titan but just a little bit better or just it has its own identity so the plot goes like this in japan monsters known as kaijus regularly attack the population with the japanese defense force tasked with killing them which is a group of i guess police officers that protect the world from these giant monsters now kaijus come in different shapes and sizes when you think of a kaiju you think of probably godzilla right I thought that too when I first heard about the series Kaiju number eight. I thought of God Godzilla, King Kong, big ass monsters from Power Rangers, you know, destroying the place and all that jazz. And it is that, and some of them aren't like that. As you'll see as we talk about the series more and more and more, that they're all different types of kaiju in this motherfucker. So that, that's that after their town was destroyed by kaiju when they were children childhood friends kafka and mina kafka is your main character by the way so keep keep that in mind kafka is your main character keep that in mind they decided to join the uh, defense force so that they can take down kaiju well as time goes on mina becomes one of the top ranking officers in the defense force you know the typical anime trope you know two friends want to join the force one of the friends becomes you know well loved well trained you know he's everybody goes to that person just for advice all that stuff he's you know the a plus plus student while the other character is usually the fuck up you know the scrub you know the one that everybody don't want to be around you know the, the, the loser that this is pretty much where they're going with this story when it comes down to Kafka and Mina. Mina is going to be, you know, your Sasuke, you know, the one that everybody loves. She's not going to leave your village and all that stuff. But I use Sasuke as an example because at the beginning of Naruto, everybody loves Sasuke. Like everybody was just, oh, Sasuke, Sasuke, all that kind of stuff. While your boy Kafka, on the other hand, is the Naruto. He, he well, I wouldn't say everybody disliked Kafka, but he was a fuck up, you know. He's failed the exam to join the defense force multiple times. He just can't get it together. As a matter of fact, guess his age. He's in his 30s. I think he's like 32 years old. So all my folks out there who's in their early 30s, 31, 32, you have an anime character that y'all can, you know, relate to because you get to watch him go from a zero to a hero. So that that is something I can say that's pretty dope. So Instead of him joining the defense force, he's failed so many times that he's ended up joining a pretty much janitor crew who cleans up after the huge kaiju monster battles that the defense force has with said kaiju. Well, something really serious happens where Kafka ends up getting injured and he ends up in the hospital and a bug kaiju flies into his mouth and he ends up developing the powers of kaiju number eight and that's how the series starts off with kaiju number eight becoming a thing you know kafka swallowing the bug becoming a kaiju so he has to keep his secret hand to hand he doesn't keep his secret for long but yeah 
that's how Kaiju Number 8 starts off. So like I said, every week we're going to give you a chapter and we're going to go over the chapter. So in this video, I gave y'all a rundown of what Kaiju Number 8 is all about. Now we're going to get into this recent chapter, which was chapter 77. So chapter 77 opens up with Kikiru over here getting ready to throw down with one of the kaiju. Now, in the last chapter, they gave us the identification numbers for these kaiju, which is kaiju 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Kikiru's going face to face with kaiju number 15 at the moment, and she gets to witness its enormous power as it took out six officers in one shot. So... Kikiru knew she, she's in for a, a rude awakening in this fight. And she's just a rookie at that. And got the higher up saying that, I don't know if she can handle this fight. Like, we, we should get her out of there or something at least. Well, there is no backup for her. Because one of the officers comes to terms and says, like, hey, it seems like the kaiju are trying to separate us and try to get us isolated so they can take us out take us out one by one and you know the typical anime trope where either the protagonist or antagonist split up and they all take on you know either a protagonist or antagonist so like for an example one piece since i've been watching a lot of one piece recently they do that a lot you know they'll all split up and they'll end up taking on one member of said evil group that they're going up against in said arc so that's what they're doing here and it seems like they already have their matchups right now and as you see on the screen right now this is the matchup that they're having and that's pretty much how the chapter pretty much had ended it's pretty much saying like hey these guys are going to fight and it looks like kikiru's going to be on her own because she can't get no backup because whoever she has with her it's all she's got right now same thing with all the other captains all the other captains have to do what they got at the moment because with the kaiju splitting them up at the moment they had to say hey we're gonna have to fight on our own and even though kikiru's all like shit i don't want to do that in her head she doesn't she's saying that but out loud she's like you know what i can handle this and i can handle my own and all that jazz so that was the end of the chapter her going up against kaiju number 15 and next thursday the chapter will drop next thursday i will go over it and hopefully the video will be dropped out on thursday if not usually these videos will come out on friday or saturday just depending on you know how quick i get the stuff out for you guys but i like i said earlier in the video i will go back and get you up to speed on what's going on in kaiju number eight and also do the new chapters at the same time and so on and so forth and probably have like dairy videos maybe just talk about the series as a whole and you know talk about the anime and whatnot so but other than that guys that's all i got for y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this first ever video for kaiju number eight other than that guys i love y'all i hope you're taking care of yourselves i hope you guys have an amazing year as well other than that peace